All right, good evening, everybody. It is Saturday, December 28th, um, about 10 o'clock here in Texas. But just wanted to shoot a, just a quick video tonight showing my, uh, my latest creation from the workshop bench. This is what I'm calling a ooh, fireworks going off outside. Uh, they do that down here in Texas, uh, Christmas, New Year's, things like that. But anyway, um, this is what I'm calling a poor man's jackery. Basically what we've got is a uh, Group 27 AGM deep cycle battery inside of just a standard battery box. And then I ordered one of those uh, sets off of Amazon that has like, it came originally with this little mounting plate, but it has the uh, USB charger, the on off switch, cigarette lighter, then a little voltage display on it. Basically, I wired those all together into this battery, and I left a pigtail out the back end with the SAE connector where I can easily hook it up to the uh, solar controller or deep cycle battery charger to charge it up when I need to. But yeah, pretty uh, pretty simple setup. Um, I love to have one of those Jackeries, but they're about... Uh, what, $4.99 right now for the 500 watt version, which is about, I think it equates to about 43 amp hours. This is a 92 amp hour battery, but keep in mind, you only want to take these down to about 50% or so. But anyway, yeah, it switches on. And um, you have, like I said, the little phone chargers and then a, a cigarette lighter outlet. I put these in at an angle so you could easily uh, get a hold of these. And then the voltage display is really handy. And sorry about my dog, he's barking back there. Just a second here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is this is what we end up with. And uh, yeah, my plan is just kind of keep this in the truck uh, for when, uh, just for when I need it to help uh, keep devices charged up when we're camping. And the big thing is, is I want to, I might add another little cigarette lighter socket over here as well to where we like to run those O2 uh, fans when we're camping and that'll help keep the tent cool but uh, yeah let me uh, let me show you what the inside of this looks like so this is what we look like on the inside of it uh, again sorry about the fireworks but I'm sure some of you Electrical guys might be cringing at the crudeness of this, but I think it's reasonably safe. Everything is fused. Even each little position up here has inline fuses, well barrel fuses. Um, then of course the main DC line that powers the stuff in the top has its own fuse, but real easy to do. Uh, just used a little hole saw to drill holes in the in the top of this battery container right here. Mounted all the parts in there and uh, just basically uh, parallel wired them all together, and you're good to go. This wire right here is a standalone, it's wired up to the uh, battery as well. And again, this is so I can um, uh, hook it up to the solar charge controller and charge it from solar or hook it up to the trickle charger. So but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. You know, basically, uh, poor man's Jackery, uh, about four or five times the weight. <laughs> I, I, and again, yeah, if I could afford it, I would definitely have one of those lithium battery Jackery units instead of this. But uh, yeah, I think this will work for my needs, especially since it's going to be in the truck, truck camping the majority of the time. The only time the weight is a concern is when I have to pick it up and take it to the tent. So that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night.